Where are my subjects that you held captive in this strange land? Where are they? Your wickedness drove them away. <laughs> if you know what is good for you, release them to me now. That will be when I'm long dead and gone. You don't deserve to be their leader. What? You. How dare you? How dare you talk to the beauty of the gods in such a manner? Traitor! Traitor! surely pay for this. I heard your voice, yes, but I can't remember having any appointment with you. So what brings you to my palace? Hibe, what my eyes are seeing is beyond the imagination of a mammoth. So what is it you are saying? Hibe, Ezama is in trouble. Our land is on a borderline between peace, unity, and disintegration. An evil child with Ezama blood will be given birth to, and that child will bring problem, havoc, and dichotomy in our land. Igwe, if truly you have the interest of Ezama people at heart, you must be on the lookout to avoid the existence of this evil child. Igwe, you must be on the lookout, for this is the prophecy of the gods.
As the custodian of custom and tradition of our people, I owe it as a duty to make sure that everything handed to us by our ancestors must be intact. Good. Yes. And so I want you all to note that every bit of the instruction must be carried out to the last letter. Yes, Your Highness. Right. Your wish is our command. Igwe! 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 What is it? Igwe! 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 I went to the ticket compound to collect the money for the work I did for him in his farm. And on getting there, I discovered that his baby girl grew it in the upper jaw. Huh? Hey. Oh. She must be evil. Hey! Mm. Uh, uh, okay, alright, alright. You can do it. Go. Hey. Hey. Elders, you take some guys and go immediately to verify this report. If it is true, Child must die. Yes, she is evil. Let's go out. Don't worry. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. of my ancestors. Why must this happen to me? What have I done to deserve this? A child I waited for several years to come. All of a sudden they float. Two teeth in the upper jaw. Why? Why me? Why me? Nay. Nay, please do not allow them to take away my baby. Nay, don't let them try it to the evil forest. Please do not. Nay, I've been forgotten how long we look for this baby. Nay. I've been forgotten how they humiliate us. How people mocked us while we were childless. Nay. Please. Look at that, please. Don't let them take her away, please. Ajuko. It's okay. I know all this. We suffered it together. My hands are tied. This is too difficult for me to bear. OBDK, bring that back to your little baby. Why? We want to confirm if she's an evil child. My child is not evil. OBDK, you had a child that developed two teeth in the upper jaw and you say she's not evil. OBDK, you know tradition and you know what our custom does to such children. Mm -hmm. Go and bring her out now. Please, my elders, please, my elders. Please don't do this to me. You know how long it took us to have that child? Over 15 years, 15 years. There must be a way out. Please, my head has... Enough! Obi Dike. Obi Dike! Okay, yes, I am here. I will order it. You know the tradition. Girls! Do your work! Get out of the way! 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 Come back. Come back after that. Get out of the way. Girls, come here. Obi Dike, you know tradition. You know tradition. DJ, we search everywhere. The baby is nowhere to be found. What? What of the mother? She is not in the house each year. 
No! Go and search, go and search very well. Search even the pot of water. Maybe they remove the water and put the baby in the pot. Search the van of yams. Search everywhere. Come on, go and search. Go and search. Go ahead. Go and search. Why come back you? Search the kitchen. kitchen. Come back here. Search everywhere. I hope it's not what I'm thinking. Come. Search. Search everywhere. I've been doing my family, oh, please. Oh. Hi, sir. What do you mean? This is not that one. Woman. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, what is it? She was trying to eat this thing and you know it's not edible. Edible my foot! Why do you have to touch her like that? I'm only trying to stop her. Stop her? How is that your business? Oh, you go. Oh, you go. Atarongi. It's you go. But I'm going to give you a little bit. I'm going to give you a little bit. I'm going to give Why are you insulting my wife? Insult your wife? Are you even ashamed of yourself? <laughs> Calling your fellow man your wife. Oh. Eh? And you're here standing, calling her your wife. You're a fellow man. Enough. You're in a crown man now, me. Woman, let's go. Oh, you is okay. Oh, I know one day, God will answer us. God will smile at us. He will put a laughter on our faces. This is okay. your father. Answer me, please. Ojugo. Your boss. Have I not told you to stop stressing yourself? Hey, nah. So because I'm pregnant, I will not do anything again in this house. Don't you think it's good for my condition? Ah, uh, let us not think. Eji ihana abanante, abananya. Biko, please, please go inside and rest. Eh? Nah, I will finish oh, the work. Just allow me. No, 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 no. I will finish the work for you. Now nah, you're spoiling me. You're spoiling uh, me, and I don't like my it. Baby. <laughs> Thank you. child that you gave to me. I remember my agreement with you. I will tell the great oracle of my fathers. I come to beg you to help me. I heard how you help others to bear children. That is why I brought these items to you. I cannot stand the shame, the humiliation and mockery any longer. Please, if you give me a child, I will dedicate the child back to you. Please accept my sacrifice. back to you. Please protect her. I would rather die than watch them kill this baby, please. Protect her for me. <coughs> Oh, 
Ije. Ije. I see her. Come, 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 come. Get her, get her, get her, get her. Bring her. Get her. Leave me alone, leave me alone. Bring her out of this place. Bring her out. Leave me alone, leave me alone. Come on, move the mouth. Fuck, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, what? Come on, move. We are not going to leave you until you show us where that evil child is. Leave me. Where did you kill the evil child, woman? I don't know where she is. I don't know. Obi Dike, talk to your wife. Talk to her. To show us where she killed that evil child. Otherwise, she will just leave us with no other option than to kill her. I want to die and show you where my baby is. I want to die. Give me. Give me. <coughs> I want to die. Guys, leave my wife. Let me talk to you. Leave her. Let me talk to you. You will not die. Nobody will kill you. Please, please. Show them where you kept the child. That the gods that gave us that child. We give us more children. Show them, show us where the baby is. Please, please, please. Show the first about this, you're wasting our time. Please, I don't want to lose you, please. Child. She's a special child dedicated to the mighty Africa. But, but Don't be afraid. This is the only child of Obidike. They want her dead. But the mighty Africa saved her. Let nobody know about this. Her destiny has a lot to tell. Take her. Take care of her.
be dickhead. You are not a stranger in this community. You know our custom. You shouldn't have resisted the elders. Listen, we must cleanse this land of this abomination. And since that baby cannot be found, your wife's blood will be used to atone for the evil child. <laughs> This is the matter of custom and tradition. <laughs> move, 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 move. Don't leave so so much. Yes, wait, wait. Wait. Ah, we are one of you. Go, move, move, move. Move, move, move. This is an issue of tradition and custom. of the gods. Your Highness. I, come, Uduma. Have the gods spoken? Yes, Your Highness. They have made their choice. Ah, I see. So tell me, who did they choose as their beauty? The gods didn't specify the damsel that caught their fancy. They only said that their beauty is the daughter of Amago Kendra. What? Uduma. You mean, you mean our own Amago Kendra? Yes, Your Highness. Uduma, are you, are you sure about this? Yes, Your Highness. Then, who else? Who else would be befitting for the cause to choose from Mama Wukentred if not my daughter, Princess Wando? Who else? The 
gods didn't specify. Uma, it must be my daughter, Princess Wando. Can't you see that her beauty attracts both man and spirits? Can't you see that? Of all the virgins in Amago Kindred, she is the most beautiful. Uma, open your eyes. Open your eyes. Your Highness, I have to go now. And wait for further directives from the gods. No, no. No, Uma. That will not be necessary. Listen, you are... The SMO. Go ahead and crown my daughter. Because the vacant position of the beauty of the gods cannot be allowed to linger anymore. Crown her because I know she is the one. She is. I will be back, Your Highness, when the gods permit me. I should pamper them. But me, you could fall off of Mama, please. I am just being principled. And what I am doing with them is to teach them how to be disciplined. They need to understand the value of being principled. That's all. Even at that time, you still need to slow down. You don't need to shake and shiver when they see you. What is wrong with shaking and shivering when they see me? Yes, now, I am the princess. So it is not a crime if my servants shake and shiver when they see me. Biko, Mama, weapon. These people are my servants, and I know what I'm doing. I know how to handle them all. Eh? Happy fine, Marco. You see these people? If you give them a handshake, they will want a hug. I am not prepared for that. So, Chelo, can you see They are my servants. Biko, weapon. Please. I am merely advising you as your mother. Uh, princess! Princess! Papa! <laughs> oh! Let's have a look. What is it? You have just... found favor with the gods of Allah. Wow! Oh. She is the chosen one. She is the beauty of the gods. Hey! Hmm? 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 What do I owe this visit? Yes, I'm here. I decided to come here today so that you can look me in the face and tell me why you have decided to deny me the favor the gods bestowed on me. Why, Pedi for? I can't deny you any favor from the gods. I'm still waiting for directives from the gods. Okay, if that is the case, go ahead. Go ahead and make inquiries. Prove to me that I'm not choosing you. It has always been my dream, Mother. I just can't wait to be crowned the beauty of the gods of Iziyama. So that I will command respect. 
and I will give instructions to people and they will listen and obey me. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait, mother. I just can't wait. <laughs> hmm. Beauty of the gods is a position meant for the wise. Because we're going to act as a mediator between the people and the courts. I know. I know, Mama. And that is all I've always wanted. And my daughter Wanda, do you think you can fit into the position of the beauty of the gods? That is, serve people. Can you serve the people? What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that, Mama? Are you saying that you doubt my capabilities? That is why I don't like discussing certain issues with you. Why are you a killjoy? Why, why, why do you hate me? Why don't you find anything good in me? What crime have I committed? What crime? My daughter, you did not commit any crime. And I do not hate you. I'm only giving you an advice. Listen, mother. I don't care what you think about me. I don't even care if you hate me or not. My father loves me, and that is enough for me. He did not train me to be a coward. He trained me to be bold. He trained me to be brave. And he trained me to be strong. I am the only child of this royal household, and I will not be a disappointment to anybody. Be angry now. You know my mother is very sick, so I have to rush to the stream to get her some water. Eh? Please, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. See you next time. Bye bye. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. Do you know that Princess Wando is the beauty of the gods? Even the chief priest has confirmed that. Hmm. I even heard that the king is going to celebrate her daughter in a big way. Me, I can't wait to be there, at least to experience the event. And I wish the princess would select me as one of her mates. Me too. I'm even planning to change this my hairstyle. Mm -hmm. Okay now, let me rush to the street. I'll right, go now. come now. Alright. All right. Bye bye. Your Highness. Yes, I'm going. By the directives of the gods, I present to you Princess Wando from Amago Kindred. She is the chosen one. We have waited so long for the gods to speak since the demise of Ugoma, the former beauty of the gods. Now the gods have spoken. Princess, come forward and pick the staff of authority. and crowning of the um, beauty of the gods and I remember I never got around to ask you what it means the beauty of the gods serves as a mediator between the gods and the people whenever there is an issue in the land the beauty of the gods is usually the first to be consulted except on special occasions 
or special cases that Ezemo is involved. Huh. So, whoever is appointed is chosen of the gods? Yes, my daughter. The gods choose the beauty of the gods by themselves. Hmm. I have to check on my traps. Won't you have some oranges while you go? When I come back, I will take oranges and I'll eat as well. And food when I come back. Come with me. Okay, my dear. The girls of our fathers have favored you. <laughs> favored you amongst all the maidens of Isiama Kingdom. By crowning in their beauty, the beauty of the gods. And I'm so happy. <laughs> in fact, Father, I am happier, honestly. I am so happy right now that the gods decided to elevate me to this position. Oh, yes. How come I am Eh? Faithfully, you see. You are not blind now because I have looked right, left, center, everywhere, and I've not seen any maiden that is better than me. No, no, no. In fact, no one. If they had given it to anyone else, I would have asked them if they were blind. Eh? <laughs> and all thanks to you, sir. Because you taught me everything I know about being royalty, about being a strong woman and a woman with strong character. In fact, Papa, the gods do what they are doing now. Because you being the Igwe and me being the beauty of the gods. Eh? Two people with two strong characters. Ah, we will run this kingdom very well. That is my daughter. <laughs> that is my daughter. Anyway, Father, if you leave me here, I will talk and talk and talk and talk and talk because I'm so happy about this thing that happened to me. Mm. But it's great. Don't you want to sleep? Oh, uh, very soon I'll go to sleep. I'll go to sleep. Mm. It's okay. I think I should retire to my chamber too because it has been a long day. Alright, I need to sleep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good night, my dear. Beauty of the car. Oh, Moan. Okay. <laughs> I said it. Your Highness. Ah, no, no. My husband, knowing that our daughter has been crowned the beauty of the gods, mm -hmm. don't you think it's time she cut down on her excesses so that people will not have a negative impression of her? Excesses? Yes. Wait, 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 wait. No, no. What, what exactly is the issue you have with our daughter, Wendo? Because I, I, I can't understand where this is coming from. Listen, I gave that girl a very nice orientation. Orientation that would have filled the vacuum in me for not having a son. I gave it to her. So what are you talking about? I am her mother. And I tell you that she misunderstands the purpose of that orientation. You consider yourselves lucky for being favored by the gods with this special assignment as maidens to the beauty of the gods. If I were you, I would spend every day of my life thanking the gods for this rare privilege. 
Now, follow me. Princess, I have taught you everything you should know about divination. Do not fail the people of Aziama. And remember your promise. <laughs> Uduma, you can count on me, okay? Don't worry. I will take this substance. Take this substance and rub all over your body. To your beauty, your beauty before the gods. <laughs> Thank you. Evil has overtaken the land of Isiana. Evil? How? I am apprehensive, my daughter. Henceforth, please be careful in everything you do. I will in there. Please come inside.
house assignment. You have refused to see anything. Oh, you tell the girls. 
What did they say? Our ears are itching. Hmm? Hmm. Uduma was killed by the gods. What? No. That can't be possible. What else? Don't question the gods. Uduma died because he disobeyed and angered the gods. They have also asked me to take his place until a new chief priest is chosen. Your Highness, did you hear that? Such has ever happened in this kingdom before. A woman, chief priest to Avuke. Hm. Your Highness, Milineru. I have delivered the message. You cannot serve as the priest of Africa. Right. You and your elders doubt me, right? It is not a question of anybody doubting. You see, I have been on this seat for many years. You cannot be the beauty of the gods and the priest of Africa at the same time. The workload will be too much for me to carry. But I am not complaining about the workload. Besides, the gods who want to elevate me to that position will give me the strength to carry the workload. That has never happened in the history of Ezeamaki. You cannot be the beauty of the gods and the priest of Africa at the same time. The priest of Africa has always been a man. And it cannot change while I am on this seat. Otherwise, the people will begin to doubt your integrity as the beauty of the gods. The gods have ordered that the remains of Uduma should be laid to rest. So finally. As for a new chief priest, he will be chosen according to tradition. That is the mind of the gods. Oh, that's that. Okay. That's exactly what we want to do. I am Chief Uduka. You now have to let the, the time cry no, so that you can give out this message. It's done already, Your Highness. All the young men of this kingdom who are yet to be defiled must come out so that the gods can make their choice. Consider that done. <laughs> Retrace your steps. The place you are heading to is not for mere mortals. You mortals? The place I'm just a... uh, My good people of Azia and my kingdom. Yay. I welcome you all. You see, having committed our chief priest to Mother Earth from a few market days ago, another one will have to take his position. And that is what our tradition says. You are right, you will. That's right. That's right. Um, my princess, and our beauty of the gods, these are young men of Isyama kingdom who have been found worthy to be chief priests. We present them to you. 
May our gods reveal to you the chosen one. Here they are. that you've had carnal knowledge of a woman. Please step out. I hope you understand what I mean. Imani Benugokwe. Come out now. My father. My princess. And elders of Eziama Kingdom. Beauty of the, of the gods. gods. These young men will be under my supervision for four market days so that the gods will take their time and make their choice. That is the tradition. That is it. That is it. So, follow me. Averagely active. <sighs> Greetings, my princess. Quiet. will make their choice from these young men here. Any of them who is able to take this spiritual bag and lift the mantle of leadership is the chosen one. So, young men, may you find favor with the gods. 
You can now come one by one and try to take the bag and the mantle now. to congratulate you on your new office. Thank you so much, my princess. In fact, I am indebted to you. You made everything possible. <laughs> I want to also assure you that I will always be with you to guide you. In fact, I will teach you everything you need to know about divination. Really? I learned a lot from the late chief priest before he died. And if there's anything you do not understand, feel free to ask me. Thank you so much, my princess. Thank you. Beauty of the God. <laughs> <laughs> I will be on my way now. Yes. But I will visit you later. I know. <laughs> I experienced a very poor yield. Can you imagine what I have here? After harvesting a huge farmland, suffering my wife, that is what is paining me most. No result. No result, oh, Madame. Even me, my own is worse. I don't have single food for my family. Not even one. If I don't I'm going to Igwe's palace to complain. It's getting too much. Oh, you're going to Igwe's palace? Yes, now I'm going to Igwe's palace. Let's go together. Let's him go together. Let him go together. Take it easy, my people. Take it easy. There is much anger in your voice. What is the problem? Get it together. 
Is there my people are known to be great farmers? Of course I know. Yes. Johannes. Uh -huh. Hunger has crept into our land. We don't have food to feed our families. Why? How, how do you mean? Your Highness, putting it straight, our crops yield. We are very poor. Very poor that we have never had such experience in the land of Benziama before. Your Highness, it may interest you to know that we are just coming back from our farms. We went there to harvest. To harvest. Now look at my basket. It's empty. Look at the result of a huge farmland harvested. Amadi here did not even have been chakam. Okay. All right. I have had your complaints. Uh, we, we will inquire from the beauty of the gods why the gods did not favor our land in this cropping season. We will inquire about that. Meanwhile, take it easy. Okay. Take it easy. Okay. Johannes, we will go and come back soon for answers. That's right. That's okay. Iwe, there's trouble. Iwe, there's trouble. Oh yeah, what is it again? What is it? Iwe, the people are revolting again. They are revolting. Again. Any news from the beauty of the gods? I have not seen her. Oh, here she comes. I have pleaded with the gods. I have cried. And I have begged. But they refuse to talk. They just stay silent. No. No, my princess, no. You are the beauty of the gods. Force them to speak. Let them talk to us. This food crisis cannot continue. Please. The beauty of the gods, please. Talk to the gods. Do the gods want our people to die of hunger? This must stop. 
It must stop. Our children and animals cannot continue to die of hunger and starvation. Ah ah! What is all this? Osondo, if Igbo did not give us a reasonable answer, I will burn down that palace. I cannot be at this. Let's go. Your Highness, your where is his son? Your Highness. Yes, ma'am. Your Highness. Ah, Amadi. Your Highness, the worst has happened. Our children and flocks are dying of hunger and starvation. If all the villagers decide to keep quiet, we must speak. Your Highness, something must be done for this crisis to stop. Uh, please, please, my people, I beg of you, calm down. Calm down. The princess and the beauty of the gods said that the gods are still silent. They have not spoken. But, but I know, I know that shortly, shortly they will speak and something positive will happen. Please calm down, okay? Please. to walk up to a woman he has feelings for and to express his emotions for it, eh? I describe such a man as not man enough. Uchi, you are not man enough. See ya! Hey! I'm going back to the palace. Please, Emily, don't go. Please, come back. Please. I am not blind. It's written all over you. I am not blind, Uchi. Nowhere. 
and claim all the love you to them. Indeed, Christian life is my man, and I will appreciate it if you stay here. as if you don't know what I'm talking about. I saw you talking and smiling with that girl in the day. And is there any problem with that? Of course. Now tell me, Ushe, what quality in a woman does she possess that I don't? Ego, are you okay? Ushe, I'm not okay. Um, now this long age thing is for you, you know? Which I'm in love with you. You know this. Okay. You know it is a taboo for a woman to profess her love for a man. You know that. Which I disagree with that. I disagree. So please now. <laughs> Please leave before you put me in trouble. I said, Leave! I said, Leave! Hello. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Because the people of this land are crying. They are weeping, my daughter. For the recent events that happened in this land. Yet, the beauty of the gods seems to have no solution. Mm. What is it? Mother, it is not in your jurisdiction to interfere with the affairs of the gods. <laughs> and please, next time you want to talk to me, choose your words carefully, especially when you are talking to me in front of my mates. Because the next time it happens, I will be forced to take a decision that will make you hate me forever. And you know me very well. I won't care. So please, I will appreciate it if you do not talk to me about this issue again. I don't want the beauty of the gods. I am your mother. And I, dear your mother, will not stop. Yes, I will not stop until you turn a new leaf. Don't dare me. You know what? Don't dare me, mother. You know what? Ah, go on, sir. <laughs> I've come for answers again. I have come for answers again, my woman, sir. <laughs> Your Highness, I am coming. Hmm. Ah, Buke! Ah, Buke! Ah, Buke! You have never disappointed me. <laughs> I have pleased. 
already dealt with the gods. But you refuse to speak. I suggest we exercise patience. Patience? Patience, your highness! Did I hear you say patience? Patience, your highness! Patience when and say what children are dying in their numbers out of hunger. Look, the whole kingdom lacks food to eat. When are they going to speak? When the palm fruits ripe at the tip of the palm fronts? Is that when they will speak? Will they wait until everybody is perished? Precious your highness, and the gods will speak. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> I can hear you. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> I have something for you, Your Highness. Your Highness! <laughs> I have something to reduce your blood pressure. As I know, I'm here to hear the courts speak. I want them to speak. Patience, Your Highness! Patience! Patience, Your Highness! God of my ancestors, why? Why have you let me see these days? Why are all these things happening in my time? <sighs> the gods have forsaken us. The chief priest confirmed the words of the princess and the future of the gods. Does it mean that the gods are still silent? Yes. And I think we are doomed. No, Your Highness, we are not doomed. We don't have to give up now. Your Highness, the people of Eziama look to us for solution. We can't leave them now. So what do we do? Hey, Your Highness, I suggest we go for Akune. Akune this year. Oji, she also communes with the spirit of the gods. Your Highness, her experience will be of immense help to us. What are we waiting for? Let's send a guard to go and fetch her immediately. Uh, I suggest we go to her. Because she's not strong, she will find it very difficult to help the Have you not heard that the gods have turned their backs on Eziama? Our children die now in their numbers because of hunger. Our crops yield poorly and our animals also die. Evil thrive daily in Eziama. The beauty of the gods and the chief priest, Ezemu, say that the gods are silent. Mm. You are an old seer. Mm. Consult the gods. Inquire from them what should we do to be free from all these calamities. What do we do, Akune? Please, these are fun apart in the Zemo. Oh, yeah. Oh. Or 
until the right thing is done. The anger of the gods will remain on this young man. Hey. I have said what I said. Ah. Where's my father? A princess. I don't know. But I've heard him discussing with the elders to go see Nakone Isiya at Oita. Father, do you know that you're undermining my position in this kingdom? How could you go and consult a seer when you have the beauty of the gods? Oh, that. You see, the gods refuse to speak to the beauty of the gods or the chief priest. And what do you expect me to do? Fold my arms, cross my legs, and what is there my people perish? No, my dear, it is not possible. What did your seer see? Were the gods able to talk to her? Well, she said that these situations arise when the true beauty of the gods or the true priest is not chosen. You, I know you are the true beauty of the gods. But the chief priest, I do not know him. Who is he, princess? Who is he? a pity that you doubt my authority and my ability to communicate with the gods. <laughs> it's a pity. Listen to me. If you don't look into these eyes and tell me what I want to hear, I will have no option than to invite a strong medicine man from our neighboring village to come and investigate this issue. Yes, I will. Give me your hand. My princess, where are we going to? My father and the elders are bent on bringing a strong witch doctor to this village. And you know what will happen if they succeed? We will be exposed. So what do we do? I have a plan. Come. That is our only option. I have to do it. Okay, let's go. for quite some time now. We actually intend to see the king uh, yes. and inform him of our uh, that we are set to go to the neighboring village for the journey. <clears throat> but we found nobody to tell him of our presence. Yes, we even asked the guards and they said uh, the king was still asleep. Yeah. Still asleep? Ah, sorry for keeping you. I will inform the king that people are here to see him.
always coming around me. I always come around you because I am your guardian. How can you be my guardian when my... Hold home. Hold home for the sake of your mother. Her life is in danger. My mother? patience. Did you listen to me? No! Instead, you deceived my father and took him to a seer who said a lot of rubbish about me, the chief priest, and our gods. Now, are you happy that he's dead? I am asking you, blockheads, are you happy that he's dead? The beauty of the gods we only tried to prefer solutions. Where's the place you lost it, sir? Me join some... Two of you are monkeys. Goats! That is what you are. Okay. You have big heads, but no brains. Can't you see that your solution has ended up putting us into more trouble? Can't you see that? My, eh? my, my, my princess, we, we only tried to help. Eh? And those of you who misled Igwe, we die! You will die! Oh, hey! You will die! Now! Get! Arrest them! Serious danger. There is danger. Indeed, danger locks around. Where to go? Oh, yeah? Yes. You, go this way. Mother, how did this happen? How did it happen? How can you all of a sudden, how can you go blind? I don't understand it. Uh, everything works together for good. 
all I can tell you is that I sense danger around Eziyama and I weep for it. But I tell you for sure, the gods are not blind. stay here for the time being. It's actually a hut I erected for days I spent in the bush hunting. I'm sure we're safe here. You'll be fine. In your faces. How can you be with the princess? I'm just squeezing your faces. Have you eaten anything? No, princess. You've not had breakfast? You had me. No. Do you want breakfast? <laughs> Don't worry. I will give you breakfast. Guys! Your Majesty. Serve them breakfast. Flood them very well. <laughs> 24 lashes each. That is your breakfast. Now, release the elders and their families. Can't you see that you're just punishing them for no just cost? You insult me again without minding the presence of my mere servants. How dare you? <laughs> Wando, I warn you for the very last time to call that in your excesses. Mother, I have been pondering over some things for some time now. What is it, my daughter? Strange things. Strange things have been happening in my life recently. Mm. It's as if I am being watched. Mm. A strange man always appears to me as if he is guiding me. He's always telling me what to do and what not to do. I don't understand it. Do not let it worry you, my daughter. You are a special child. Mother, you keep saying that. What really is special about me? Tell me, because sometimes I find myself doing some things beyond mere mortals, as if I have some power. 
powers of some sort beyond human comprehension. I don't understand. When you find yourself in such situations, handle it like the bold and brave young girl that you are. Maybe it is in the line of your destiny. Your Majesty, this is the best that I can go with you for now. Uche, thank you so much for your loyalty. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Your Majesty. May the gods go with you to your maternal home safely. Thank you very much, Uche. Yeah? You're welcome, Your Majesty. But please, don't let anybody know about my whereabouts. You know? Yes, Your Majesty. Thank you. Mama, I want to see you, Your Majesty. Thank you. Thank you. The gods guide you. Thank you. The gods have spoken at last. The gods have demanded for a huge sacrifice this time. Ezeru, whatever the gods require from us, we will do. Yes, yes. I need two virgins amongst you to appease the gods and all the calamities that have befallen us <laughs> will be withdrawn. Is it not please? <laughs> Make with the gods <laughs> to request for something else. Yes. It yes. doesn't have to be our children. Yes. Die! <laughs> you Quiet! Quiet! The gods have spoken, and it must be obeyed to the last letter. <laughs> Two veggies. I had you. I had you. I had you. you demanded from us. We have fulfilled our vow. So please, keep your own end of the bargain. Make us stronger. Make us more powerful. 
Do not let any man or woman stand on our path. Give us powers so that we can stop all the crisis in Aziyama Kingdom. I trust your powers. You have never failed me. So, please, accept our sacrifice. <laughs> the beauty of the gods. It is done. <laughs> the gods have accepted our sacrifice and all the calamities will cease and never to be seen again in our kingdom. I am directed by the gods to tell you that henceforth our own princess and the beauty of the gods will lead our kingdom until a new ego has been installed. This has never happened before in the kingdom of Isyama. A woman to lead Isyama? This is an abomination. Keep quiet! You're sorry! Quiet! Lazy bones. That's what you are. Lazy bones! That's what you are! And you! Enjoy, yeah? <laughs> Be careful. Be careful, Enjoy, yeah? The gods have spoken. I heard you! Ne, I'm off to the bush to check on my traps. May the gods go with you, my daughter. Thank you, Ne. over some things for some time now. What is it, my daughter? Strange things. Strange things have been happening in my life recently. Mm. It's as if I am being watched. Mm. A strange man always appears to me as if he is guiding me. He's always telling me what to do and what not to do. I don't understand it. Hmm. Do not let it worry you, my daughter. You are a special child. But that you keep saying that. What really is special about me? Tell me. Because sometimes I find myself doing some things beyond mere mortal. As if I have some powers of some sort beyond human comprehension. I don't understand. When you find yourself in such situations, Handle it like the bold and brave young girl that you are. Maybe it is in the line of your destiny. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. 
They almost killed me. I've never seen such a brave girl before. What did you do to them? I came from Umeza village to pluck some leaves from the Uchakri tree. The Igwe's son is very sick. And it's only this leaf that can kill him. I don't know why the warriors of Umbano have to fight me over a tree in our land. Hurry up and pluck the leaves if you're sure you can save the boy. Yes. I'm sure. My father told me how he discovered the healing effect of the multi-purpose Uchakli tree. It's really wonderful. You check the leaf? Yes. What, what are you talking about? Hey! This Ushakri leaf is really wonderful. Earlier today, when I went hunting, I had a snake bite on this leg. Immediately I applied this Ushakri leaf. All the pains and the venom, everything disappeared. Just the way it just happened when I applied it on you. Father! Yes? Are, are you serious? <laughs> Father! This Uchaki leaf must be very wonderful. It is sent by the gods to us. Who? Oh. Is your mother sick? She's blind. Da 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 ya ya da 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 ya ya da 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 ya ya da 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 ya ya.
Igwe, the gods not allow your son to die. He is my only son. My only son. Ah! May our ancestors spare his life. You see, I believe that my son will return with the Ushak release. Your Highness. Your Highness. We're still going to come back with some strangers. What strangers? I don't know. Strangers. Strangers. Put your men on the alert. And watch them closely. Bring them to the palace. Yes, Your Highness. Strangers. Nietzsche. I have this feeling that the Mbano people want to use Ugonna as a bait to get us. We must be careful. We must be careful. I am releasing you on the condition that you will serve in my palace for four market days. Beauty of the gods we pledge our loyalty to your leadership. Is that a promise? Yes, yes. Uh, your Majesty. And besides, we will do anything you want us to do for you. Mm -hmm. That is the spirit. <laughs> Run along.
Gunna. Yes, Your Highness. Who are these strangers? And where is your chakrili? I have it here, Your Highness. But I was attacked by some warriors of Umbano. They said their prince gave instruction to kill anyone from Umweze who steps into the Ogidi forest. But she rescued me. She rescued you? Yes, Your Highness. Get the check relief. My son, my son, my son, father, oh, my son, my son, my son is back to life. Yes, he did. My son, my son, my son, my son, my son. Thank you for rescuing my chief guard. Gunnar. And by rescuing him, you have given my son his life back. Thank you very much. You are most welcome to stay in Umeze. Hmm? Yes. And um, Gunnar, we make provisions for everything and anything you need to make your stay in Umeze comfortable. Your Highness! Thank you. Thank you so much. May the gods reward you. You're welcome. <laughs> Your Highness, for this kind gesture of yours, you will live long on this throne. If Do 
now? Eh? I don't understand it. That boy told me that Uchakri relief can cure all kinds of ailments. Don't take it to heart, my daughter. What an elder sees while sitting down. A child cannot see, even when she climbs the evil tree. What are you saying? They think they can blind me. Both physically and spiritually. But the gods are wise. You speak in riddles. You speak in parables. I'm confused. What do you mean by you? Who are they? The battle of the demise of the king and the disappearance of the queen. This palace has been so uncomfortable for me. I'm tired. My brother, we all are in the same shoe. But I tell you something. We need to trade with caution. Otherwise, I do understand. The two left in the hands of the master has no other choice than to appear. The are tools in the hands of the business. The duty of the gods. <coughs> I've seen this feeling for some time now. But, just, just. Uche, you better be careful. Remember where we are. This guy. Let's walk to that bed. Hi. Then we go. Eh? Please try. I know you have tried, eh? Put more effort, huh? Eh? It's bon money. Hello? Oh, Sondo. Eye of the gods. Oh, Sondo. Dike Anna Ogunanya. I can see you are working very hard. Uh, yes. <laughs> I was at your home and I was told you are working on this farmland. Yes. I hope uh, all is well. See, Basand, I came to see you for something very important. Ooh. What is it? I want you to sell me this portion of land. Huh? I want to use it for something very necessary. This land? Yes, no, this land. No, 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 no. This is the only land I inherited from my late father. And I also want to pass it on to my children. This land is not for sale, please. Osando. Ezem, do you want to disobey the gods? Oh, uh, who am I? How can I disobey the gods? Osando, you can buy another portion of land with the money. I will pay you. As a more, it appears you don't understand me. This land is not for sale. Please use that money you will pay me. Use it and buy another portion of land for yourself. This land, I won't sell it for you or anyone else. Please. Please. Osando. As a more, I'm begging you, please. Do you want to disobey the gods? Oh, who am I to disobey the gods? And the gods know that I'm saying the truth. Hi. Hey. Daddy, 
Fengako. and regulations of this palace died with my father. I have made new rules and new regulations and I expect everybody to respect it. Any form of disobedience from any of you will attract severe punishment. I do not want to repeat myself and I am very sure that none of you we want to feel my wrath. Same goes for you men. You are not exempted from it. Do I make myself clear? Yes, yes, yes my princess. Ezemu, you don't look happy. What is it? I want to talk to you privately. What is it? That position of land. Mm. At Ubaka. Mm. The one you gave me money to buy. Yes. That belongs to Osondo. Osondo. Yes, yes. He said he's not going to sell it to me. He's again. He said he's not going to sell it to me or anybody. Mm. <laughs> you. We will see about that. You and you. Get your weapons and follow me. Let us go. <laughs> And you must conform to the authority. My princess. Hey, ho. Did you see them? It's you. You didn't see them. <laughs> Osondo, you think you can flaunt my orders and get away with it? Just like I'm going If you like, enter a rabbit hole. I will enter that hole with you. Because I must use you to set an example to all the foolish gods in this village. Rima, let's go to his house. Yeah, yeah. Brother, 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 
Come on, challenge me. It's a Come on, challenge me. Hi, Messia. You know, I'm not there. I will so deal with all of you. Mm -hmm. Your Majesty, Mercy. we could not find them. We could not find them. Oh, but go go see Abba. <laughs> it's okay. Now listen. Anywhere you see Osondo, or any member of his family in this kingdom, make sure you bring him or her to me. Is that clear? Yes, Your Majesty. Majesty. As for you, like I said earlier, that land is yours, and that is final. Thank you, the beauty of the God. Sound away. The prince of Umbana. He said you should stay away from our giving forest. Our Lord is trying to make the kingdom. Our son is being put to slaves. Oh, my son. Umbana. Umbana. Bano, how dare you challenge me over a giddy forest? I can see that you don't want peace. Bano, I will tear you to pieces with my bare hands. Are you sure you are doing the right thing? Amadi, what are you to do? What else do you want me to do? Amadi, look at your friend. Look at where Princess has landed. Princess. The defender come. Amadi, it's a big risk for me to continue staying in this village. It's a risk. What exactly do you want to do? Uh, I'm going to take refuge in any of our neighboring villages. I have to be here. Be careful, my friend. I will. May the gods of our land protect you and your family. Go, go, go. 
Have a mason. Yeah. It is a well known fact that Ugidi forest is our land. Our fathers gave it to us and protected it. Are we going to allow Mbama people to take what our fathers gave us? No! Mbama people have beaten more than they can chew. They have asked for a fight, but we will give them war! Yes! Go and defend your land. Go and protect your land, your highness. We will defend this kingdom with the last drop of our blood. Yes! yes. Oh, Daddy. Your Highness. You are now an adopted daughter of this land. You have rescued us once from the hands of the Imbana people. You can do it again. Go with our warriors. Defend our land. Fight them. Defeat them. And bring me victory. Your Highness, the people of Mbama are too small for the entire warriors of our land to engage in a battle. I want to assure you that Ogun and I alone will conquer them before sunset. Hmm? Yes, Your Highness. Go now, shall we? If you think that you can wage a war against the people of Umuese, how wrong you are. Because you would never, ever win. You talk more of taking them in as slaves. How dare you challenge me? You are just a mere woman. I have not come to exchange words with you. I have come to rescue the boy and also to warn you. Stay away from the people of Umweze. Never. Ugona, untie the boy. Don't touch the boy. Don't dare me. Oh, Daddy! Pick my ball.
think I can continue. Eh? No, ma'am. Please don't talk like this. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Huh? Arum, please try. Huh? Very soon we will get to any of the neighboring villages. <laughs> You have done us proud once again. Yes. You have brought honor to Umu is a kingdom. We all cannot appreciate you enough for what you have done for us. You rescued our chief guard from the hands of the Mbana people when they attempted to take him away. And by doing that, you gave my son the heir apparent his life back. Again, you saved us from the hands of Mbana people and gave us victory in battle. We cannot thank you enough. But we will appreciate you. And reciprocate the gesture which you have given to us. By the past conferred on me, as Igwe Obumodu, Okuwaka of Umeze, I will confer on you the double title of one year the number and the chendo of Umeze. Your Highness. Thank you. Thank you, Your Highness. Stand up, my dear. Thank you. Get up. Thank you. Get up, noble daughter. Come on. What? Your Highness. Send words to the town crier. Tell him to summon my people to my palace. The gods, true or daddy, has given us victory. And as you go, bring along her mother to my palace. Thank you, Your Highness. Mate! Your Highness. Take her to the inner chambers and prepare her for the ceremony which is coming. Okay, Your Highness. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Your Highness. So much. Jack, 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 what a fun! Yeah! What a fun! Yeah! What a fun! Yeah! What a fun! Yeah! What a her bravery. Now you cannot wait to, to do what? Adaku! Hi! Please. Enuma, please. Please, oh! That was then. And that time she was bearing Ogad. And now she is Ochendo. One name the number. Don't you see the difference? Don't you see the difference? I see. Please, I was busy behind when you called me. Oh, let me go and continue what I was doing. You can stand here and practice. Go, oh, let me
time is here. Time to reveal what has been hidden. and one need the number of whom was a kingdom should visit me. It's a privilege. Mm. Hmm? I knew you as Ogabi. Now the Ochindo. I'm scared. Of what? I don't know what to believe anymore. On different occasions, you've given me reasons to doubt me. the gods made me to be. Take me as I am. Even I sometimes cannot fat on my being. Even I can't explain the things I do. And every time I question my mother on it, the answer I always get is that so shocked. And indeed, I have grown and lived to see myself as a special asset to the gods. Thank you for being that friend and brother I never had. Thank you for bringing my mother and I to our land. Thank you. Thank you, Ochen, for bringing peace and restoring the world. You brought you a little token. Oh. Yes, my princess. Oh. I shall take my leave now, as the girls are taking me in a village to Thank you so much. Ochenjo, may the gods continue to favor you. Who are you and where are you coming from? My name is Osonda. Osonda Wike. This is my wife and son. We are from Eziama. Let's take them to the palace. You're right. Follow us!
Is he to you? My princess, he is my husband. <laughs> oh, your husband? He is my princess. I want him. Just for the night. He will return to you in the morning. My princess. You. This my princess. Follow me. My princess, please, please. You can't do this to me, please, my princess. <laughs> Follow me. My princess. My princess, please. My princess, please. Master. <laughs> Is your mission to my kingdom. Speak before I kill you. Your Highness. Believe me, we are honest people. We flee from Ezama because of our wicked princess. We are here for safety. Your Highness, you sent for me. Yes. These people claim to come from Aziyama. Do you know any of them? Your Highness, like I said earlier, we are honest people. We ran away from Aziyama because of uncontrollable greed and wickedness of our princess. She seized my land forcefully and sought to kill all of us. In fact, she denied us freedom. Yes, I know you. I have seen you fishing beside the river in Eziyama. You are the daughter of Akun. Yes. Kedifengako. Your birth was historical and your life divine. Do not resent the people of Aziama for the death of your parents. Severally, they have caused us pain and afflictions. The gods made you special, and special 
you have grown to become. You are a special child. So please, stop crying. Please, my dear. I started walking in the palace before you. And so? I hope you know that. And so? Let me tell you something, huh? Since I was born, I have never seen nor heard that a woman professes her love to a man. Are you a woman? Do you have any dignity at hey. all? Njidi. Yes? Njidi. Njidi, are you insulting me? Njidi. Are you insulting me? Yes. I am insulting you. Wait, let me ask you a question, eh? If Uche is to choose between both of us, don't lie, you, just say the truth. Who do you think he would choose between both of us? Who? No, just answer me. Who do you think? <laughs> Uche is a tall, handsome man. And he needs a tall girl like me. Not you, dwarf. You are just on the floor. Very brief. And you want Uchi to leave me as tall as I am to marry you. Ndidi. <laughs> mm -hmm. Even if you are as tall as an Iroko tree. Hey, Ego, I will bring you down. How dare you? How dare you? I will crush you. I will tear you. Don't try it next time. You hear me? Don't ever try it. This time! Don't ever try it! Say 
sent for me. I had to sneak out of the palace just to see you. <laughs> his word and his people. They came to seek her and the marriage for his son, Uchi. Hmm? I didn't know what to answer. That's why I sent for you. Hmm? So that I will give them a reply. Hmm? Talk to me now. Amale Cham, talk to me. Hmm? Talk to me. Okay, okay, Mama. Tell them yes. Ah. All right. I love him. I'll marry him. All right. Have you give me an answer now? I will now tell them to continue with the marriage preparations. Hmm? Okay, Mama. My, eh, you know I sneaked out of the palace. Let me rush back before someone says it. Oh. Oh, don't over stress yourself. Yes, yeah, ma. Oh, bye bye. and cry when I remember the travels of our people. And I cannot wait for that day to come. A day when I shall look into her eyes and ask her why she delights in suffering her people, her own people. I am happier than you are. Really? Yeah. At least we'll not be doing this hide and seek anymore. We'll be able to express our love publicly. <laughs> my love. So happy. Mm -hmm. My love. My heart. <laughs> Come to think of it. If I did not approach you, I wouldn't know that you have been interested. <laughs> See who is talking. Are you able to summon the courage? Eh? That should teach you that anytime you, you see a girl that you like, don't hesitate to walk up to her eh? and express your feelings before it gets too late. What if it was late on my own part now? Eh? I, I just, I, I just did now because I'm the man. <laughs> yeah, my love, my heart. Uh, before we leave, I just want you to give me a hug. Don't say no. no I'm sorry, I'm don't say no. <laughs> don't say no. Don't say no. <laughs> Come on, give me a hug. You have to be back. <laughs> oh, I love you too. Oh. So, this is what you do, okay? You leave your duties in the palace and you come here to hug and play hide and seek like chickens. Oh yeah! We're sorry, Your Majesty. We're sorry, Your Majesty. We're sorry. See, it won't happen again. We're sorry. Forgive us. It's your... You're sorry. You're sorry. Guards! Arrest them! They have disappointed the palace and they will be punished accordingly. Please, please forgive us. We won't do it again. Please forgive us. Forgive us. We won't do it again. Young man, I'm a pemo police. Is it something I should know? I did pain. It hurts my heart. 
to know that my people suffer greatly in their fatherland. And what do you want to do? I want to return to Ziamala. For it is my desire to have peace return once more to my fatherland. Ochendo, no. You can't risk your life by going back to Iziama. <laughs> yes. We've had so many odd stories about the wicked princess. Yes. And have you suddenly forgotten her dread on your aged mother? My birth to the land of Eziama was a big risk. My very existence was and still is a big threat to them. But the gods in their mercies, the gods in their purpose, sustained my life till this day. Their destiny We were aware that both of them have feeling for each other. That is why we gave them our blessings for them to marry. Woman, is that true? Yes, Your Majesty. They are already betrothed to each other. Hmm. And you have the guts to say it. Your disgrace. Both of you. Don't you know that it is your duty to teach your children that they should keep themselves sacred before marriage? Or did your husbands marry you after working with you in the bushes? Eh? Instead of you to teach your children, you gave them your support. And with your support, they couldn't even wait until after marriage to start ramping in the bushes. <laughs> You know what? They have desecrated the land and this palace, and I will make sure they are punished accordingly. Hey, Your Majesty, Your Majesty. Your Majesty. <laughs> now, guards, take these two criminal faces, these two miscreants, take them to the back of the palace. Make sure you rub ground pepper into their private parts. Then, smoke them until there's no space on their backs. Take them into the village square and strip them naked. And make sure they dance around the whole village. Your Majesty, Your Majesty, please. Your Majesty, please. You're a disgrace to motherhood and you're a disgrace to womanhood. And because of that, you will partake in their punishment. Let this be a warning to any fool in this palace that thinks they can flaunt my orders and get away with it. The next time I catch any fool romping with another fool in this palace, what I will do to the person has never even been thought of. Good. That is what you are. Woo! 
What is even making criminals like you smile is what I don't understand. I don't like what you're doing, eh? We're supposed to be in those after two market days. We're not supposed to be seen together and you're here. Would you please just go? My love, I can't stay that long with her seeing you. Uche, Uche, I want to see you too. But please, we mustn't be seen together. I can't bear the shame of dancing around the village naked again. I can't. The one we did is okay. Please, just go now. I know, my love. No one saw me when I was coming. And now that I've seen you, I'm relaxed and satisfied. Uchibo, you know I want to see you too, but we can't see each other now. Understand? Please, please, please. No, no, stand up. Don't do this to me. It's me. 
One of the guards reporting to the priest that Uche and Indidi are still seeing each other. You have to leave, please. Please, as I'm talking to you now, she's on her, she's on her way to this place. Please, Mama, 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 we have to leave now. No, 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 I'm not leaving. If we want to flee together, Mama, we have to flee together. Let's leave. leave me. You can go. I can't leave this village because of my fellow woman. Uche, go. Mama, please, let's go. Please leave me behind. I said I am not going. Mama, please. I am staying here. Let her do her worst. I'll be okay. Go. Mama, please. I said go. Where is your son? I don't know. You don't know. Guards! Your Majesty. Go into that hut and drag him out. Your Majesty, there is none here. You abominable excuse of a mother. So you knew your son was still committing abomination by still seeing that girl, and you kept quiet. Oh yeah, you kept quiet. Your Majesty, I have been married for long in this village, and I know it is not an abomination for a man to see and discuss with his betrothed for marriage arrangement. It's your goal. What insolence. You reject of the gods. How dare you speak to me in that manner? How dare you? you, you your Majesty, the way you, you lead this Eziama, I wonder if truly you are the beauty of the gods. Hmm? Consume you. Let's go. Let's go. No, Uche, 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 please. Uche, are you sure they are not going to catch us? Trust me on this. I know the best route to escape from this village. Let me stay behind. Let me stay behind, eh? Mama, please, let's go. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. I know the best route. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on,
What happened? You couldn't find there, Your Majesty. <laughs> that means they escaped with him. I think so, Your Majesty. Come, you shut up. You think so? What else do you do here? Ilian Ning wants it. But when it comes to catching anybody, you can't. Unamamba Mwosa, fools! Your Majesty, I saw Uche, Udidi and her mother, heading towards Uwe's ways our neighboring village. It's again. Your Majesty, I saw them from a distance. There was little I could do, Your Majesty. Hmm. Umwes. Umwes. Umwes, why do you want to tell me? Konakwaro luno fuma. It's like you have forgotten that I am the lioness of Ezia Makito. Isi kote. Ngawa kono so. Honestly, I am not happy. I'm not happy. The road at which our people now flee to our neighbors is giving me concern. And if it continues, very soon there won't be anybody in this kingdom. My princess, we will do everything to stop them. What do you think we should do? We will send emissaries to their land and ask our people to return. Uh, um, and if they refuse? What if they refuse? <laughs> then they don't want peace and they will see the consequences. You are the beauty of the gods. Have you forgotten? Have you forgotten my princess? You are the beauty of the gods. Hmm. You are very correct. <laughs> they shouldn't They shouldn't. No. Thank you, madam. Oh. Come on. Uh -huh. Thank you. Oh, oh. Greetings, Uchendo. Greetings. You go to Mori Dimas to see you. I hope all is well. We caught some men from Eziama entering Umweze and took to the palace. Do you want to meet them? Good evening, Please. I have to be on my own.
Greet you, Attendant. Your Highness. You're welcome. Ah! Uche! Ah, my dear. Asundu. You are here. Yes, I'm here. I'm so happy to have found you. How about your family? They are fine. What happened? What brought you here? It's a long story. It is a long story. Hey! Get the finger come. Your Highness, there are people from Ezama. Your Highness, we are Elizabeth from here. Ezama <coughs> Kimbo. I am Chedika. With me is the Chihuahua. Right. State your mission. Mission. Your Highness, uh, our leader, Princess Wando, sent us to tell you that there are some miscreants from Asia Kingdom hiding in your kingdom. I do not have any miscreants in my kingdom. No. Your Highness, these people we are talking about are people who fled from Asia because they committed heinous crimes. I don't believe you. Your Highness, Her Majesty knows you well as an honorable king and wants you to release these people, Teziama, so that justice can take its course. I have heard you. I will discuss this with my cabinet. Come back into market days and I will give you a response. Your Highness, we appreciate your audience and we thank you very much. Uh, we shall be on our way. <laughs> Live long, Your Majesty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your Highness, I hope you did not believe that. That message came from the same evil and wicked princess. The one who tried to kill my mother. So what do we do? Your Highness, sending my people back to Eziama will be sending them to their graves. They ran to you and hid under your protection. And protection, you shall supply them. Please don't turn your back on us now. I beg you. Your Highness, long live. Long live, Your Majesty. Uh, Your Highness, 
two market days have passed. So, Her Majesty Princess Nawando sent us to tell you that she awaits to receive the people of Eziama in your kingdom at the boundary. Now go. Go and tell your leader that I, Igor Dumodu, the Okuloka car of Umeze, has denied her request. Hey, but your majesty, you promised. Oh, speak no more on the issue. Speak no more on the issue. Because it will be over my dead body to allow those people to go back to her kingdom. Now go. Go and convey my message. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. And it is only one of you that will go back. Guards! Your Highness. Your Highness. Seize this man. Your Highness, we keep Move. together. Move. Your Highness, we, we keep together. Or would you rather stay? Uh, no, I'll go and tell you. Yes! No, I'll go and tell the critic. To you, he goes for Moses, has held his chain, the cat captive. It's again, he refused to grant your request. He said, Over his dead body, will he release the people of Eziama in his kingdom? Over his dead body, up here, over his dead body. <laughs> so that miserable looking king of Umweze has decided to flaunt my order, sorry. <laughs> but I will show him. I will show him why I am the only lioness in the jungle. of Umwese has challenged us to battle. What? So he has refused to release those miscants that are taking refuge in his kingdom. <laughs> Not only that, I also heard that the seer and her daughter have teamed up with Umwese. <laughs> My princess, Hold our hands and treat this issue with kids' gloves, or else we are going to lose the confidence of our people. Do something, my princess. Scrush, Umweze. Umweze declared a battle. But I would give them war. You are the eyes of the gods. I would crush the king of Umweze. You are the beauty of the gods. Yeah. 
As you deem fit. Thank you, Your Highness. And um, if there is anything, anything that you need, please don't hesitate to tell me. Very well. Your Highness, I'd like to assure you of the safety of Mweze and every other person committed under my care. I shall take my leave now. We have preparations to commence. Oh, may the gods and our ancestors strengthen you. Thank you, Your Highness. Ziyama deserves to be a slave. So, we will fight. We will fight Uwese. And we will rescue our people from slavery. Ezeama does not breed slaves. Yahume, we breed warriors. So, you will go to Uwese. And give them a taste of what we can do. The gods of my fathers will protect you and give you victory. Are you ready to defend your fatherland? Yes! Are you ready to fight for your fatherland? Yes! yes! yes!
your way. Mm. You have been fortified! No weapon can penetrate your skin. Mm. No weapon can penetrate your skin. 
Strike yourselves to be assured. No man shall withstand you. Strike yourselves. Now go. Go and defeat those cowards. From who is it? Go. <laughs> I'm approaching you, Moise. I'm there, but you ready? Warriors of Eziama, we are brothers and sisters from the same parents with a common peaceful disposition. Instead of fighting ourselves, with weapons of war, let us all unite and fight the wicked princess before she destroys our land. You are no more our sister. You are a rebel and traitor. You must die! <laughs> of the princess as the beauty of the gods. I'm only a messenger. Be the staff of authority. Choosing one from the gods. Now leave before you cause more harm. Leave! <laughs> My princess, I have taught you everything you should know about divination. Do not fail the people of Eziama. And remember your promise. <laughs> you do not. You can count on me. Okay? Don't worry. I'll oh, take this substance. Take this substance and rub all over your body. It will adhere to your beauty before the gods. <laughs> Thank 
<laughs> so, you kid. Princess. Do you really want to be the chief priest? Beauty of the gods. Honestly, no one can say no to such an offer. <laughs> no. I will make you the chief priest. But, you have to do everything I say. Princess, your wish is my command. Mm. Mm. <laughs> now, come and feel me. <laughs> you mean I should feel you? Yes. Hey! 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 Greetings, Your Highness. <laughs> Any message from the warriors of Eziama? Not yet. But don't worry. I have this strong feeling that by sunset tomorrow, our brave warriors will be back. And they will tell us how they conquered Umweze and rescued my people. Beauty of the gods, your words are reassuring. My brothers, as you can see, I am neither a traitor nor a rebel. Let us all join hands and fight for peace in Iziyama. All of you relax. Food will be ready shortly. <laughs> that was the greatest performance I have had in a long while. Hey, idiot! In a book way. In fact, Ukwe Maradama. Your Majesty. You are all so sweet. Mm -hmm. Look at this waist. Mm -hmm. Look at this waist. Mm -hmm. I'm at your service anytime. Anytime. I like to feel your strong arms. You know, around me. You know, I have it. I have it, it in abundance. It takes me to another realm. I have it in abundance. Come on, just. Come on, Who can put that back? I couldn't explain how it happened. They should have powered us. I had no one else got it. Who overpowered you and held the brave warriors of the Aziama captive? Ogade, the daughter of the seer. Ogade. I think she possesses some strange powers. Uduko. Hmm. Would you call the great goddess? I trust in your powers. You have never disappointed any of your worshippers. Mba no, mba. Please, oh. I am begging you. Do not let the enemies laugh at us. Do not let our enemies bring us to shame. I am begging you. Uduko, listen, I am going for a battle and I want you to empower me. Please, empower me. Give me powers. Let me make you a promise. If I win, I will offer you a human sacrifice. Mm -hmm. The kind of sacrifice that you like. Hmm? But please, empower me. Empower me! Empower me! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The 
that you held captive in this strange land. Where are they? Your wickedness drove them away. <laughs> if you know what is good for you, release them to me now. That will be when I'm long dead and gone. You don't deserve to be their leader. What? You. How dare you? How dare you talk to the beauty of the gods in such a manner? Traitor! Traitor! surely pay for this. people of Umwezi for your love, support and hospitality towards us. Indeed, you have been a great father and ruler to us all. The time to go home has come. My people need me now. The mantle of leadership has fallen on me. Finally, peace has returned to Izyama. Your Highness, Though I be far away in my fatherland, bear in mind that in my heart, Umweze occupies a big space. Do not hesitate to beckon on me if and when the need arises. Echendo. Igwe. When may the member of Umweze? Your Highness. Adadiorama. May the gods give you the wisdom, strength, and courage to lead the people of Eziama to prosperity. Ise. Go. Go and lead your people. Thank you, Your Highness. Thank you. <laughs> Oh! <sighs> 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 
our daughter, Ochendo, one need the number. Child of the gods. Oga <laughs> Divayani. Full-blooded daughter of Eziyama. We invited you here to tell you how our hearts are full of joy and our mouths full of gratitude to you mm. for rescuing this our land from the hands of that evil princess and her mm. cohorts. We couldn't have chosen any other leader than you. As you are aware, preparations are in top gear for your coronation in two market days. Okay. <laughs> My elders, I thank you. I do not take credit for what the gods used me to do for my land. Instead, I thank the gods for counting me worthy enough to use me to deliver my people from captivity. The people of Iziama need to seek the face of the gods. Before the coronation, on the day of the coronation, before the event proper, I'd like every family member to come along with them, their farm products or livestock for as many as have it. <clears throat> we will present these items to the gods and request of them for a fruitful farming season. Also, we will seek of the gods to reveal to us the true beauty of the gods and also a true as a more. I see. <laughs> so please tell the villagers to come along with their thumbs up. We will do everything you have said. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you remain grateful. Oh? <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What the number? <laughs> oh. People of Azama, we are gathered here today in this moment to perform a ritual, a ritual that is beneficial to all of us to appease the gods of our land and cleanse our land of various atrocities committed, to request of the gods to bless us with a fruitful farming season and fruitful farm yields. My people, bring out your gifts to the center space. Proceed. Go to our land. 
spirit of our ancestors in the soul show thy face unto us reveal to us the true beauty of the gods reveal to us the exam of our land choose thee this day thy servants we pray thee gods of our land arise spirit of our ancestors arise 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 Thank you! Thank you! Thank you!